Hey everybody, welcome back to the 2021 Midwest Amateur Championships presented by Dynamic Discs. We'll have the back nine of the second round here at Cedar Ridge. After the front nine, Ali Smith is still in the lead at seven throws over par. Steph Olison is seven throws off the pace. And then three throws behind Steph are Amanda Wing and Tina Beach. Anna Harris bringing up the back six throws further back. Let's meet our players. Here's Tina Beach. Next up, Anna Hare showing us the horns. Followed by Steph Olison. Our current leader, Ellie Smith. And Amanda Wing. All right, let's go to the action on this is it. 210-foot uh, tunnel shot, forehand, Sorry. down the hill. <laughs> Just have to navigate these trees and get to the green. Mm. Down there. Yeah. yeah. On a weather note, it is a hot day today at the MAC. The temperatures are well over 95 degrees, and the heat indices are well over 100. It's very hot and very humid. Okay, doesn't look like anybody quite found the green off the tee. Steph Olison lines up her scramble. Wow. And that navigates everything and wow. is down that in circle one. Awesome. She'll be looking to save her par from there. And a hair on the right side of the fairway lining up the Forehand roller. The bridge. It doesn't quite oh, find the footbridge to. across to the green. Here's Tina Beach lining up the left hand backhand hyzer. Yeah. Looks like that's on the green wow. in the circle. Wow. Our leader, Ellie Smith, looking to get over this angled branch. Looks like about a 25 30 foot putt. Here's Anna from circle two to save par. Gives it a good run, just a little left. And here's Amanda Wing. Looks like she's going through that tree. Up and over. Good line, just not quite the distance. Steph Olison with the comebacker. And she scrambles for the par. Good putt. And Hare taps in her bogey, as will Allie Smith. And we'll clean up the rest and get ready to move on to hole 11. Here we go, hole 11. It's a par three, 228 feet with a dog leg to the left at the top of these exposed rocks. Oh, wee! Come on in. Amanda hits the right hand hyzer line perfectly. She'll have a great look to the basket. And a hair lining up. Little straight starts to hyzer. Nice. Yeah. We'll have to see what she's got there. And Tina Beach goes with the oh, yeah. Anheuser. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. looks like it should be in the center of the fairway. Alley going with the there you go. forehand Anheuser gets up to the circle 
and it's got just a few trees to beat just outside the circle too. Gives it a good half go. Uh, should be a fairly straightforward comebacker. Steph Olison looking at it. I don't think that went down the hill. Steph should be right there for the comebacker. Tina, oh, does not get around that tree. That's rough. You hate to see it. Then even after hitting the tree, it looks like there were some branches in the way on the next putt. That's just a rough situation. Amanda gives that a good run, as they say. A little left, though. Allie looking at the circle's edge putt. Mm. You got to want it. After that rough tree hit, Tina cleans up her bogey. Anna taps in the stress-free par. As will Steph Olison. And Amanda Wing looking at about a 10-foot tap in for her par. Not a problem. Let's go to hole 12. Hole 12 is the shortest hole on the course. It's the shortest hole on a lot of courses. 138 feet, just a tiny bit uphill. A lot of trees, and the green is very guarded. Steph's turnover shot is pin high and on the right. If there's nothing in the way, she should have a very easy birdie looking at her. Allie lines up the forehand. Oh, little nose up, little yanked. Yeah, she wants another swing at that one. Tina goes right up the middle, left-handed with a mid. Yeah. And that is all but parked. From the rough on the left, here's Anna Hare. Back in the fairway. Now, this is a very difficult green to access. I think the tree to distance ratio is very high. <laughs> it's my one fun shot. What, what do well, I have to lose, right? All right, lining up the tomahawk. Not 100% sure of that throw. And Anna is now on the good side of this wall of trees after her good drive off the tee. Tina puts in the obstructed putt for the birdie. Let's have a look at that gap. That's not a big gap. Steph puts in the slightly obstructed birdie putt. in the par. Pretty close to the edge of the swimming pool. You can hear all the water. Hole 13, 234 feet. Yeah. Sets up good for the Heiser bomb. Unless you get to the left and that finds the OB line. Great for a left-handed backhand. That might be a little too stable. That's pretty far to the right. Sets up really well for the forehand. That should be right in front of the basket. Little low out of the hand for Amanda. 
She is in a cedar. And Harris sizing up the Sky Heiser with an understable disc. Up and over everything. Should be in circle one. And long, maybe. Amanda Wing gets out of the tree. You can see the OB line just behind Steph here. Good par save. Circle three, as they say. Or 3P in some parts of the country. That was yep. Tina Beach pitching out. She'll be tapping in her three, hopefully. Oh. Yeah, Amanda's a little tired, she says. It is a hot day. From in front of the basket, Ooh. circle's edge, Allie walks in it's the her. birdie. Go ahead, Green. To take her down to only eight over par. Yeah. Tina scrambles for her par. And here's Anna's drive, 10 feet from the basket, but two immature juniper trees are right between her and the basket. I think would have liked to have had that birdie, but that was just a rough place for the drive to land. Hole 14. It's a yes, short par four oh, because God. the green is yes, very difficult to access, but Allie showed the way there. Midway through the back nine, Steph Olison has pulled within five of Allie, and she's got a decent edge over Tina and Amanda. for Anna that is rough over on the left because there's a wall of trees isolating that area from the fairway Amanda shows her ultimate chops with a lovely forehand yeah you can see there that barcode of mature and immature trees makes it necessary to go out to the middle like that and from even further to the left Steph Really needs to get out of here. Oh my god. How are you that good? Woo! That was wow. so good. Wow. She good finds shot. a way. Anna lining up her third. She needs to beat this very large grove of trees in the middle. Yes. Oh. And does not. Comes down on this side. Now, Amanda's drive found the edge of the rough and she hit those same guardian trees before leaving the first fairway. Tina's got a good line for the left hand backhand. Looked like a late release. I think she wants that one back. Steph looking to Tomahawk, forehand roller, forehand roller. Oh, a little turned over and it hits and cuts to the left. These gaps are about a disc wide, so standing up the disc may be the way to go. Anna's looking at the roller as well. Oh, hits a root and stables up and goes to the right. After her drive alleys, got this flick up to the basket. Go in. Oh! <gasps> The Near Eagle gets a red hot tip top replay. Forehand about 80 feet up to the basket, just hits weak side chains. <laughs> I told you to do it! <laughs> Dude, Smith. Stop. Sit. 
Amanda is now up in circle one. Here's Anna lining up a very much more appropriate tomahawk. <gasps> Almost drops down in the basket. Tomahawks work a whole lot better when there's no branches up there, that's for darn sure. From way over on the left, Steph needs very much to get over. <laughs> this is Tina's third, I believe. Missed the three. Nice. A little bit of a half go. She should be able to clean that up. And uh, taps in her par. Pretty good scramble considering the way her drive went off the fairway off the start. Tina recovers from that wayward second shot and saves her par. And the hits just keep coming from Steph. That early release off the tee getting off to the left before that first wall of trees is a real killer on this hall. And Allie taps in a stress-free birdie. Hole 15, 234. Hey. <laughs> and that was a low skippy low. forehand. Should be fairly close to the basket. Tina's left hand backhand does similarly well. Amanda gets the late turn and heads for about the same place. <laughs> That's three ways to do the same result so far. What's Anna Hare got? Yep, money. gets up on that and turns it over. Get some money. Steph Olison yeah. clips oh, that one seater in the middle of the fairway, but comes down in the clean. Here's Anna Hare, about 80 feet to the basket. Allie Smith is a little to the right. She's gonna have to flick up to try and get that onto the green. Butters. Butters, butters. <laughs> Not quite there. Here's Steph second looking to get up and down. Nice run out it. That's behind the tree. I hope she can find a way out. Tina and Amanda are just two and three back of her respectively now. Oh, That's what Tina can't quite convert the birdie that sits down next to the basket. And Allie's got a lot of work to do left to get her par. Oh, look out, look out. Nope, you're all right, it's just a skip. Allie Smith was spooked by a bagworm. It's a kind of caterpillar that hangs from a, a silky thread from the trees. There were a lot of them out there today. Bloopers. <laughs> If you're not expecting it, it can be very surprising. Yeah, Steph is well under this tree. Par is going to be very difficult from here. But she gets it. 
heck of a scramble from the other side of the tree. Here is an air looking to put in about a 10 footer. Bang, bang. Thank you. <laughs> After the bagworm scare, Allie finish. puts in her bogey. That'll put her back up to eight over par. And Amanda's got a pretty stress-free par as well. Let's go to hole 16, 234, a little uphill. Dina Beach has the box and shows the way. Amanda lining up a understable driver. Gets that late turn, but then it starts to fade out. It's a little left. We'll see how it goes. Anna also goes with the Anheuser throw. Looks like it skidded right up to the good spot. Steph sizes up the hole. Oh, cannot get a break. Catches that tree on the left-hand edge of the fairway. And Allie with the powerful forehand. <laughs> hey, what you have, if you play here very often, you notice that left side is way clean now. It, is. it used I was to be so. Say, this looks different. That's because we're putting a longer pin oh, nice. back farther. <laughs> Thanks to Scott Reek for dropping in. He's uh, the course designer and the tournament director. Uh, advanced women are the last card out today, so he walked in with us for the rest of the round. There's Anna Hare sizing up. Uh, about a 50 footer. Up and through the branches, and it's in. This obstructed 50 foot gets Anna Hare the red hot tip top replay. Up and over the branches, strong side of the chains. Runs in that feel good birdie. Amanda Wing flips that up on the half go. Mm, Steph can't quite get it to stick. A little weak on the right. Tina lining up the birdie putt, I believe. Oh, rushes the comebacker. That's, that's awkward. You hate to see it. The Dread Birdogi. And Allie puts in another birdie to go back to just seven over five. Hole 17, 215 feet, par three. Because it is only 215 feet, there's OB left and right. God. Uh oh. Shank that. And Anna's throw goes OB to the left. There you go. Allie lines oh. up. That's it. The backhand hyzer. Okay. Oh, and she throws it too far. It finds the OB straight down the end of the fairway. Nope. Uh, a little inside the day. Just a little. Just a little. Tina flexes that, landing just in bounds at the end of the fairway. And Steph, oh, gets the late release, and that has no chance. It hits OB and stays OB. Going up and over. Oh, and that hits and rolls into the OB again. Here's Anna's position from where she went OB off the tee on the left-hand side, looking to flick around the corner and get up to the green. Not too bad, about a 20-footer, a little uphill. 
after her drive. Here's Tina looking for the bird. Yay! Bird is found. And with that, she'll go to 18 over. And with Steph's two OBs, that means she should be moving into second place after this hole. There's Steph after two OBs. Circle's edge. There you go, Al. Hey, Steph. Boom. A double circle! <laughs> yeah, three throws and a score of five. That's... It feels bad for the OB, but it feels good for making the putt. Welcome to the band, Anna. <laughs> and here's Amanda after her drive, looking at a slightly obstructed 10-footer. Bang, bang. Outstanding birdie. With that, she'll go to 18 over par. And with Tina also getting the birdie, that puts them in a tie for second. There we go, final hole of the back nine of the second round of three rounds. New route. Yep. This is 332 and ideally a throw will navigate this fairway and then finish a little to the left. Unlike hole 17, this hole does not have as tight OB left and right. This one's a little more open. Two here's stuff looking to access the green. That is inside of the basket now. After her drive, here's Allie Smith looking to get up and down for her par. Catches some branches, that's going to be a little short. Anna's got some work to do, lining up uh, up and over forehand. That flexes down. She should have a look at the basket from there. Man to wing. God, I was trying too hard. Well, she's not the only person to hit that particular tree, so. Oh, sick. Tina's at circle's edge. Didn't quite clear those trees. Mandoing gets up in the circle. Steph has a long way to go here. First roll. Oh, thank God, that's so good. And after a few disastrous holes, Steph will finish up at plus 21. There you go. And uh, brings in a double bogey to finish it. Plus 31. Woo. Tina's bogey will put her at plus 19 as will Amanda. So it looks like they'll be tied for second at plus okay, 19. Mary, you ready for scores real quick? Allie's bogey puts her at plus nine. 
So there we go. After round two, with one round to go, Allie Smith still holds the lead at nine throws over par. Tina Beach and Amanda Wing are 10 throws off the pace at plus 19. Steph Olison is now at plus 21 after that rough back half of the back nine. And Anna Hare, despite her strong putting, is bringing up the rear at 31 over par. Next up, we'll be going to Heritage Park in Johnson County, Kansas. Thanks for watching. We'll have this posted real soon. Watch this channel. And thanks to Scott Reek for letting me film. Have a good one.